Hey y'all, it's Coach in the Fight here, praising the Lord with my wife here on a rainy day here. This is day four of our work week, which means that we're kind of out here trying to do stuff to help the community, um, looking for you know ways to earn merits. And my wife is doing a big thing, guys. She's actually looking at some of some nutrients or plants or things that's growing around our little you know homestead here they're going free and she's looking at how we can use some of this stuff for medicine she's she's helped you know some people with some diabetes so far and she's you know researching some other stuff let me let her talk guys we're sitting here no don't no way don't hurt yourself she snatched her head around so hard. like you gonna need some of that pain medicine you talking about you keep snatching your head like that i'm gonna give her the mic y'all all right so we're looking at the fig leaf here Kind of, um, what, what, what's, what, what's unique? What's, tell, me, tell us about the fig, I guess. Um, so, what's so great about the fig is that um, the healing properties that it has uh, that we've actually seen with our own eyes is the healing properties of the one I talk about now is with diabetes. What it does is it helps with um a person that is suffering from this disease to um lower their numbers to manage yeah manage I'm lower trying to read this website while I'm looking at to it. manage and lower their uh their numbers so we take a person whose number was um 6 something and uh, taking this fig tea, what it does is it lowers your numbers to a manageable um, level where you can, I'm trying to use the right words, where I, I say, it take, my mom has, she suffers from diabetes and her numbers are high um, a lot. And what it does when she takes this tea, which, you know, she sips on it throughout the day, it lowers her numbers to a reasonable number where it she can take less insulin. Right. So she, she still takes she, she insulin. She still takes insulin. I mean, what what you still need to follow up with your medicine. You still you need to use your medicine. This these herbs are just a as you would say, just another tool in your toolbox to um, managing reg regulating your numbers with the aid of food is, is kind of what it is right I mean right right this is is equivalent to I guess if you have high blood pressure to what lowers your low blood pressure uh mulberries 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 uh oh. oh you're talking about the medicine well cholesterol cholesterol they tell you to eat fish right they tell you to eat uh, oatmeal let's oatmeal, say oatmeal right, right. So, so it's equivalent to like eating yeah, oatmeal so supplementing your um, supplementing your medication with fig leaves is equivalent to eating oatmeal and still taking that um, that statin, statin or whatever it is. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, yep. So we're not saying to get off your medicine. In no way we're saying that. We're just saying, that, yeah, or replacing anything about your your medicine that your physician has given you. We're just saying that this is just another. Uh, to to help you well, you know, and I, I'd like to point out, you know, and, and you alluded to this earlier is you're not an expert on this stuff, right? Correct, right? The the and you know, just like the people are watching me here gather this information from the web, right? Anybody can gather it you can get what's unique about what you're doing Stacy is you actually have this stuff growing in your y'all. How many fig trees do you, do you think you have access to? Uh, we have quite a few and it only takes about one don't it? Right. So you have you you would say you have enough fig fig leaves that you can go get right now and today. Correct. To treat how many people with diabetes? Lots. You know, for the rest of it. I mean, you can you can send them a whole box of this stuff. Yeah, and that's what we're hoping to do because this is this is a ministry for us to right. be able to send people who um who not only have don't think that they have the resources to um take herbs because you know sometimes people when you start thinking of talking about herbs and natural and organic people think you know lots of money yeah but that's not necessarily true well, yeah. so what we're hoping to do is to be able to um, get these herbs and uh, products 
out to people who um, otherwise don't think that they can't afford it. Well, can not that they can't afford it, like. You know, or never heard fig, of it. They don't have fig trees. Right. My dad has diabetes, but he doesn't know where a fig tree is. So Probably not. He, I asked him. Mm-hmm. I asked him the other day. And, you know, he's like, wow, I want to try the fig tree. And, and, he, and, I'm, and I, I said, Dad, uh, do you know where there's a fig tree? And he has no idea. You know? So what you do now, you dry the leaves out and you ship it to him. And then when you go to visit him, you take him a fig tree. But that, mm-hmm. that, that. Therein lies the problem. One of the problems we have, guys, is how are we going to get you guys this stuff? Right. Because we don't want to charge you for the herbs. We just want to get it to you. But the UPS man, he won't. He, I, mean, <laughs> I go down there to that post office guy, and, you know, he's going to, you know, he's going to be looking at me, you know. And like my wife says, this is our ministry. We don't, we don't, you know, we, the Bible says you can't serve God and mammon. Well, you know, if we're trying the mammon part. I mean, we're trying to God part, and we don't have much mammon anyway. And we don't, we don't want to sit on here and, you know, like, like you know, folks say dry bag or whatever. But we do have we do have an issue here. And I think y'all should just do it. Stay. I think y'all should just take your little money and send it to them. You know, see what happens. All right. So we need, so you need a list of people to send it to. Need a list of people to send it to. Um, so how are they going? How, how? And to tell us exactly, you know, what is your element? How can we help? And let me let me again uh, reinforce that this is not a uh, cure all. This is not, you know, we believe that um, the father put doctors here. He uses them. Yeah. Um, and we you know, doctors, we, we yeah, we we, please do your own research, 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 research. And let this here be a um, an alternative and a um, a tool to help you in your wellness. But this is definitely not us saying that you know we are. Yeah. We're this is a cure. This yeah. is a heal healing. We please please stay on your please stay on your uh path to. To follow up with your doctor. All right. You see all this stuff on his website, sir? This is the web. Is this one of the websites you use? It's a lot. I use lots of websites. Oh, this is a good one. It's the first one I clicked on. Is, is I mean, is all of them this good, or, or I mean, yeah. I know all of them don't you typically have everything, and you have to go from one to another. But this is like giving you all kinds of stuff, dosing. Should you just put the uh, link instead of doing all of this? No, for each you one, you put the link. You, let me show you what you. Let me show you what you're doing. So you take this and you create. Okay, take this. Oh, take that. Oh, oh. And see what I have to do here. I'm, I'm highlighting it and then I'm clicking on this A. That puts it without putting all of that website junk in it. Just putting the letters. So what you do, what you do with this, and then you can say, you can save this one as figs. No, well, you're going to have memory enough for all this stuff? Yeah, these files aren't, aren't that heavy. Word documents, you can create a million of them, and they fine. You can create all your own. But now you got this in here. Now look at all the other stuff you got before I go jump back up, guys. Now, what we're talking about is creating a page like this for all of this stuff we got growing on this property. Mm-hmm. All of this, right? I forgot to put wild lettuce in there. Yeah. Gee, you forgot the wild lettuce? I forgot the wild oh, lettuce. We're going to make a special one just for wild lettuce. Let me finish. Um, I don't know. I guess you guys could pause it and see. All of this stuff, you, you what is parsley? Say, what is that? I, don't, I ain't never heard of that. Parsley is a herb that we have plenty of. We have plenty of it. Out there, I'm, I want to cut down, run over with the bush hog. It's very, it's small. Very yeah, small. So it's like the bush hog don't care about small, big, or nothing. I want to take them trees. All right, let's talk. What you want to do, Stacey, I believe, is you want to take and create a page like this for each one. A page. A, guy, a wise guy once told me one time that if you can't fit everything on one page, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, so you take this whole fig and you break it down into one page. Now, it's going to be difficult because you got all of this information that you got to somehow combine down to one one page with the, with the 
pertinent information and a link back to that website that you got it from. Okay. Yeah. And so you create one of these for each one. Alright, what else can you say about the fig? Uh I'll give you well, we'll give you a personal taste that it tastes it's very sweet. Yeah, you don't yeah. It tastes like fig smell, which is very, very good. I mean you just take it, put it and take the stems off, right? Take, take the leaves off the tree. Take the little stems off. Right, because that stem holds the bitter part. You wanna pull that off. And put them in boil them in some water. Right. And then put them in your cup. Yeah. We like to add a little mint, and you can add honey, um, your uh, sweetener of taste. Or being a diabetic, you don't really need no sweetener at all. It, it's a very, it's a very pleasant taste, so it's it's pretty good. All right, y'all. So this is just a warm up. This is on the fig. You want to close them out, stay? Um, shalom. Shalom.